well, probably mess with that a little bit tonight, but uh, I think for the most part, we're gonna go pull the grill back off, do a little bit more work. You not hungry, buddy? And uh, try to get that thing ready for some Bondo, maybe. I don't know. Gonna do a little bit of work. I don't know what I'm doing for an insert, but I'm gonna provision it for that. Unless I can get some thin strapping. I don't know. I'm still on the fence what I'm doing in there. I'd like to do something like my tea. It would be kind of cool. This one I found some decorative uh, mesh or whatever. So it's got little triangles. But whatever. We'll figure it out. Uh, I also want to work on the tailgate in the back a bit. I'm going to uh, basically get rid of the chains on the outside. I was going to run them, but now I'm not. So I'm thinking I'm going to do like, well, I'm going to do this style, just some simple gate latches. And I picked up some chain just from the inside. I want to just figure out some way to hold the gate from the inside. Really, it's just to sit on every now and then and just for when we fill it, kind of deal with that. Uh, well, I guess let's get started. Our, our gates in we did it with some simple gate latches I decided to hide the chains under the deck so it'll be pretty clean I was gonna run them on the outside like you first saw but uh, a it'll wreck the paint not that I care but it's just I don't know just doesn't have the same look especially without the gate latch on the back so we kind of went with this so we pretty much got the the latches the gate is like tweaked so that means the guy's got to give her the old hoof to get it locked, which is good because that'll just hold her in place nice and tight. 
Uh, I guess we're gonna maybe uh, zip around to the front there and kind of get that out of the way. Get the grill, get a little more work done on the grill here, clean it up. I am gonna either pick up some round stock or some smaller flat stock. I think I'm just gonna make my teeth straight up and down. We're gonna go with that. I wouldn't mind doing flat stock because if I did want to chrome it, I could do the old peel and stick chrome that I uh, use on stuff. If I can find it. I don't know if I have anything around here. Ooh. I haven't used all of them. Oddball Stonies. Got some cool stuff. Check them out. But anyways, um, yeah, just going to, like I say, if I do flat stock, I'd try to do it about this wide and then you can get some really thin chrome strips and then I could chrome the grill if I feel like it. So I think it's going to need something, whether I paint it silver or do something, I don't know, but it definitely needs something versus being painted the same color. It'll look too blah. Anywho, I got to source out some of this. Being metal what it is right now, it is as spendy. So, uh... But we got to get it off. I got to revisit the bottom. I'm sure folks have commented. I don't know. I'm a little ahead of my comments here, but this looks right. But this side, something seems off about it. And it might be because it's not ground down like it is here. And uh, I maybe have, I got to tweak this. I think it's got to come down a little bit. So I might have to do a slice here, bring it down a wee bit, get it off. <laughs> yes, I know. You're in my face again. Get it. Uh, Get it right, because something's just not right. And it almost seems like the lower part of the chin. There's something weird going on down there. So we'll, uh, well, we'll look at it. Basically, I'm going to template it, and then I'll see how bad I screwed up. I think it's just a matter of doing a slice and just kind of pushing things where I need and fill it with weld again. But we'll uh, pretty much got to get her on the bench and get that done. I'm still in carburetor mode. That's that noise you're hearing in the background. So I'm cleaning up carburetors. This thing is pretty much ready. I'm just waiting on to get an oil filter and it's like I can't source anybody locally that has uh, has uh, any gaskets or anything for a turbo 350 anymore at least around here I can't find so I got to go online and fart around with that but the best I can tell it's not the oil pan or anything I tried to pull the dipstick tube out but clearly it was actually working well it just seemed when it was sitting here it was seeping out of the back so I think out of this module maybe the o-ring is bad uh, but Whatever, I gotta pull it out. I might put a little bit of, of uh, silicone just around the, the dipstick tube just for the, the heck of it. But, but then I'll be able to bolt her up and slam her in. I just gotta go find that other uh, torque converter in the shed. Because like I say, that motor is pretty much stock. So that's actually like a win. If there's, got, if there's a cam in it, it is a very mild cam. So anywho. Uh, I don't know what I'm working on first. I think I'll just work on the grill for a while.
All right. Well, I haven't given up on my quest for flake. <laughs> Metal flake, that is. <laughs> um, so I got a base down. I've experimented and I think I got some stuff sorted out. That said, I'm just gonna be flaking a few little parts on the interior so I can get my fix. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be pretty toned down on the outside of the car, but I'll let you know when I get there what color I decide I'm gonna go. Um, but yeah, so the dash is blown again. So I stripped it down, shot some paint on it. We got a base. Now I'm gonna get the, uh, we're gonna mix up some clear. We're gonna waft the big flake and then I'm gonna just put tons in the clear, the small mini flake, and I'm gonna put that over top of that yet. Right, so like a plan, buddy? Yes, let's do that. I think this is where I'm at. I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm not going crazy with it, but I got the center of the dash, which we'll have, right? And I got my rear window surround. I don't know why I decided to do that. And then my dash. So the dash will kind of flow into that bottom part. But I think I got her figured out. Um, I just got to put on like another 10 coats of clear. <laughs> we'll get that sorted out. Right, puppers? We will get that sorted out. So, the, the blast gun that I made, which works really good now, was my broken doodad. I experimented with this into the nozzle, and it did not work. Like, this is my... This is it. I screwed that in. It wouldn't do a vacuum draw enough. So I went back to the drawing board, just made it smaller, literally just stabbed it into the jar. And then depending how I want it to spray, I can screw this part in and out, but further out is actually better. It needs to cause some kind of a venturi dealio, but it does work really, really well. So I'm happy with that. <clears throat> Not that I'm going to use it for much of anything else. I'm thinking that's all I'm doing. I won't go harsh. Maybe I'll just do... Uh, a flake line or something, but it's it'll just be with the, the micro flake. I just mixed up like an insane amount of clear, so I'm just gonna put truckloads and spend the next uh, couple hours just putting clear on all these parts so I can maybe sand it so it's not so rough. Or it'll just smooth itself out. <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyways, that's gonna work out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We'll see how it is. Well, whatever, we're gonna let it keep flashing, doing its business, and then uh, we'll slam her in the truck tomorrow and see what it looks like. Right, Doggo? Well, you don't care much, eh? You probably should go in the house, though, before I do my next spray round. Hey, hey, Sparkles, look at you, got all the sparkles on you, coming off of me.
the bowl and see. If she'll fire up, mind you. All right, I have to wire this open. I do not have this choke hooked up. I've got to wire it open. Ah, this will be fine for now. I'm gonna see how off everything is. <clears throat> We are off. It's just probably going to be worse. grab my timing light really quick. All right, assembled the inside. You kind of see me spray some white in the jams, kind of went with a flat. I don't know if that'll be a permanent thing or not. We have our dash. So we got our metal flake there with the waterfall. Not sure how I like. I might be adding into the middle yet, I'm not sure. But uh, at least here. I sprayed everything else black all around, so that'll go okay when I actually do put this interior stuff in. So we'll kind of get to that and some of the other installation pads. And then, uh, yeah, you can't come in yet. It's not ready, dude. Not ready. So anyways, yeah, so that's, that's done. Then on to this one, we got the motors in, runs good. I just might have to pull, because I've never had anything apart on the motor really. The uh, water pumps seem like they're dripping, so I'm thinking I gotta pull the bolts out and put some sealant on them. I'm thinking that's gotta be the plan. Other than that, it runs, runs really good for a motor that I know nothing about. Oil pressure's good, all that stuff, so. Uh, be able to throw this out and we can bring something else in. But now that my workbench is clean, I think I'm gonna try to get that grill onto there and start daddling with it, start fixing her up a bit. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay. Uh, put my light on. So, <clears throat> what have I done? I put in some of that sound ending, whatever I had left for my international, I threw into the back. And then I had that other foil, so I put it up on top. I got it all around the edges. I'd like to get some more and actually just put it everywhere and a little bit in the door. I had a little bit left yet, so I started putting it on the firewall. So, I'm gonna have to order up some more. It went pretty far, considering, but there was a better bargain if I had bought more. No, it's just silly and I didn't read that, so. Anywho, I, uh, like I said, I'm gonna order more and we can finish up the inside. But for now, that's where we're at. Um, I do wanna just take off. I haven't got to the grill yet, but I'm gonna go order or go to town, see if I can find some steel. I wanna either find some small flat stock or some round bar. And we're gonna figure something out here. Try to get this fixed up few little things and this bottom totally have to get that sorted out down there 
Anyways, I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping and then uh, we'll come back and get this thing working here. I'm kind of confused because that thing does look off but uh, I made a template it's very minor as far as how out it is because that one's pretty good and there's some other excess a little screwy with the the grill shell but it's pretty close it's off a wee bit but I don't know I uh, just splashed some paint on it or whatever my primer weld through primer and it's uh, I think it was just an optical illusion because it kind of looks right from here anyways we got that out of the way so that was easy <laughs> went to town picked up I couldn't find any small flats so bought a whole bunch of quarter inch round rod and I am going to hopefully I bought enough Ooh, I really hope I bought enough but I want to trim those down basically I'm going to cut these out trim these up and I'm just gonna run some quarter inch bars all the way down so in the end I guess I'll just maybe just paint them or something so it's an offset color and away we go but to do that we're gonna have to cut all of these out and then we'll just start filling it with some new teeth here uh, I will probably just whoop, try to um, leave it roughly around in the same area like leave some of these open I don't know I'm gonna cut it and then we'll figure it out. Let's start with that. That's the easier way to go at this. Well, that sucked. I didn't have my camera set up right. <laughs> oh, and I don't have enough metal. <clears throat> I was close. I should have bought 10 rods. To which makes that rather an expensive insert. <laughs> but I need one more rod to finish this. It's kind of got a nice trend. Like, I'll be able to clean this up around the edges. I got to fix this and over here. So we got to do that yet. But there's supposed to be another bar in this side, but I think that'll make my life miserable if I try to put that in and then fix stuff. And unfortunately down here, I'm missing the bits, so I can either grind this all, well I can't really, but I just like the way this transitions. So I do have these pieces that were in the middle of the grill. So I'm gonna kinda chop them up so I can finish this run down here, but 
I'm pretty happy the way that turned out. It's uh, it's working out all right. It is working out, considering, I don't even know. I think I've been farting around and trying to figure stuff out. I don't even know if I got an hour in this so far. So, but it's far from finished, so. Like everything's just lightly tacked in. I don't have it fully welded yet. Or cleaned, or, yeah, there's a lot of things going on. But at least it looks like a grill. Dang. Well, I'm screwed till tomorrow. I gotta go get some more material. But let's throw it on the truck and just see what it looks like anyways till I can continue on it tomorrow Oh man, that looks so much better. I know it's kind of hard to see from that angle, but because of that one tooth missing We'll probably fill it with just some uh, a mesh or screen or something behind just so that comes out But once this is silver or something on the inside it should be a big win. I dig it And I still say something looks off. I don't know what the heck well, could be because the grill does have a little schwank in it. Man, I'm just putting a lot of effort in it, and that thing's just going to get destroyed on the road. So I don't know if I'm going to put much care in that. I templated it. It looks good. I just think it's because it's not, I don't know. It's, it needs something, yeah. <laughs> I think because the grill's hit. Maybe the um, maybe this is it's the right shape, clearly, but I think maybe because of the way it was hit, it's got to, when I push it out, it'll come down. I don't know. I'll have to look at that and try to sort that out, fix that up. But anyways, till tomorrow, I got to get some more stuff and then we can kind of finish this thing up.
where are we? Well, I got that other tooth welded in. The, uh, the ends aren't the greatest, but it's like, it's good enough for what this grill is. Uh, we filled in the top. I basically, <laughs> buddy looked at it, made sense. It's just easier to do a slot out of that side. We'll just tuck that in and I don't know. I think it looks better. It is what it is at that point. Uh, and then we got a schmooze of mud on it right now. It's mixed pretty light, so eh, I'm just going to go in for supper. We'll come back later tonight. We'll sand it. Hopefully it's close. We can get it into primer. And then that means our whole truck is actually one colorish. Although I'm not going to mix up any primer for this. I'll probably just rattle can it with that rattle can primer. But either way, she is... Uh, she is looking good. I like this. I still feel like I got to put an insert because it is so ugly staring at the grill and stuff through it or the radiator and stuff through there. Um, I tried to make something down there, but none of these actually lined up or worked. So whatever. I welded it down. There's there's an even amount. There's an even amount of screwed up down there, so it all works out from the middle. It's like an even number out that's missing. So I'm fine with that. If I actually think about it now, this piece probably had like something in it for the crank to go through, so it's probably for the better. I don't have it anywho. Anyways, I guess we're gonna leave it at that for now until I go in. I again would like to find a mesh to put behind there before. I might weld some tabs on the back side, so if I do find something, I can at least screw it in there and it'll be done. Anywho. Should we go in for supper, bud? Yeah, eh? let's go. Got our first sanding on it. Just a light schmear again, just to get a few little mess ups. And uh, I don't know, kind of all I did tonight, kind of a movie night. So gonna let that dry. I'll hit her in the morning, get some primer on it. And then we can get her on the truck and call her done. Well, at least this part for now. Then we'll move on to something else, I guess. But till tomorrow.
Well, I think this one is ready to go. All I got to do is uh, fix my busted throttle cable here, but give her a couple squirts. I think it still needs some carb tuning, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Oh, wants a little more loving, eh? Which is fine. She just got to get parked in the shed till spring. Well, we got her on there. I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. Still a little off on the bottom, but I'm really not gonna concern myself with that. Looks good enough, considering it's just gonna get murdered by road debris. Yeah, overall, I think it'll do. I think it'll do. I think Jeff over at Sobering has a cap. Somebody else contacted me too. They have like a topper or have something for the grill. I can't remember. I was going to use that other emblem that the other feller sent me, but it does not fit on there whatsoever. There it is. I was going to put it on there, but it doesn't, uh, she don't fit nowhere. So I don't know. We'll save it for something else. It'll get used. It's not sure what. Anywho. We kind of, we threw the, uh, the other car out, the T. It needs a going through yet before I start driving in the spring because there's still a couple little leaks on it I found and whatever else. We're back to working on snowmobiles a little bit, but I'm just switching some parts around. I got to readjust the float on that one. And this one's in just for, I don't know, I think I'm going to get a couple, do a little couple touch-ups on her and nothing major though. Kind of just do an oil change and whatnot. Got to adjust or fix my wipers. They don't work the way I want. And then uh, that's about it. I do have some problems with this one hub, but I have it permanently locked right now, which is working okay for the winter. But anywho, I think for now, this is where I'm going to leave it. I want to uh, thank you all for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.